To import shape files into your PostgreSQL database, you already first need to have created a database using either pgadmin or the psql command line tool. So if you haven't created your database, check the link in the description of this video and you'll see links to create a database and an easy walk around the pgadmin interface and also you'll see a link on how to install your PostgreSQL package correctly. Links are for subscribers only, so do well to hit the subscribe button and let's get in. So first of all, to open to um, import ship files into our PostgreSQL database, search for this app, PostGIS, or you can just go to all apps, or go to our PostgreSQL, and then see it here. PostGIS bundle. If you don't find yours, that means yours wasn't installed correctly, then check the link in the description. If you also open yours and it's showing you a missing.tll file, then I'll post a link in the description of this video later on when I make it. So check it out. First, you view connections. We set our username. The username for our database was PostGRACE. If you change yours, remember to use it here. Passwords, database, special, data, hub. And it shows the connection succeeded. So you can proceed. It's on import or export. To import a file, add file. Let's go to here I have a ship file saved. Okay, this is a ship file. It's a small ship file, so it will import very fast. You set your SRID. You set your SRID, your special reference ID to 4326. I'm sticking with that. You can decide to change the name of your geometry column if you want. I'll leave mine as geom. And then you click on options to confirm it's creating special index and loading data UTF-8 too. If you have added a number of files and you want to delete the f one of them here without importing them, just click on this and it unticks it. Otherwise, click on imports and ship file imports completed. This is a very light ship file, that's why it's run so fast. Otherwise, you see the progress bar going through. Then on your PG admin, on your PG admin, I imported this ship file right now into special data hub. But as you can see from tables, it's not showing. So all you just do, go to this, right click and refresh. Special data hub. Now you see the ship file. Let's view it. It's not exactly a reasonable file. Let's just view it to see what it shows us. Yep, this is it. So, see you in the next video.